Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have a long awaited video which is uh, Hidden Features Part 2. Now, a lot of people have been wanting me to get some neat features out, some features that you know most people don't really know about. Now these features, I'm not 100% sure you guys don't know or know, but I found out about it after owning this car after like several months. So I might as well show it to you guys now. But before I do that, I just want to show y'all that I'm repping Justin Buse's new merch. Um, honestly, I knew this guy since he had 2,000 subscribers when his video first started blowing up. This guy is a very hard worker and I gotta support him. Um, even if it looks nice, it feel, the quality feels pretty good, so why not rep it, you know? But without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first one, guys, is the, uh, the automatic water pump. Now, when you try to bleed your system, people normally use this, but since BMWs have automatic water pumps, this is kind of useless. So let me show you guys how you use the automatic water pump to, uh, cool, to push out all your fluids when you're trying to do a full flush or um, when you're trying to uh, get all the air bubbles out of your engine. First thing you want to do is get into your car. Once you open up this door, eh, jump in the car, put your keys in the ignition. It's kind of important, you know. Now, let me get the wheel straightened back out so you guys can see my dash right here. So you guys can see there's nothing right now. You gotta click it once. Once you click the, the power button at least once, the ignition, you're gonna wanna put it to, uh, you wanna put your air conditioning to as hot as possible. The first setting, make sure everything else is turned off. Just, um, <clears throat> just put it as hot as possible turn all the way up max and uh, only have it on the first bar now when you have it on the first bar and you turn your ignition on the car like is on but the engine isn't on yet this is the step where you want to this is the part where you guys want to put your foot so right now you want to put your foot on the gas pedal for 15 seconds and you're gonna hear the you're gonna hear the water pump turning on so uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it through my camera but you guys will be able to hear it um, on your car so just put your foot down there for 15 seconds so now my foot is pressed down on the gas only. All right, guys, so that's about 15 seconds. I'm going to let go. I'm going to go outside. You want to leave your car on during this procedure? Now it is showing a low coolant light. That's just because I only have one gallon in there. So I'm going to come around over here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh, there you go. That's clearly here now. I'm pretty sure. So the water is just running through the entire cycle, through the engine, through everything it needs to go through. And um, once it does that, pretty much you'll have no more air bubbles in your coolant reservoir, no more air bubbles in your engine, no more air bubbles anywhere. It's basically the ble bleeding procedure, but a lot easier. So thankfully, BMW has this. Um, otherwise, you know, it would kind of be a pain in the butt. Now, I forgot to mention, this is going to be um, cycling through for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna leave it, go inside, and come back out for the next step. All right, guys, so the second new feature is the key. The key has a memory, basically, memory chip built into it, and it will allow BMW to check the history of the car, know what car they're dealing with through just the key. So if your car's having a few problems and you're unsure what it is exactly, take the key down to BMW, and they can pull up the system info and uh, basically the history of the car um, and like some problems that I, I called BMW and they said that it will tell you some of the problems you're having with your car but it doesn't actually tell you the codes are false until you have to bring the car in so it's kind of useful when uh, you know you're experiencing a few problems with your car you don't know exactly what it is um, you just take it down to BMW and then give you all the info about your car through just the key alright guys so this next one is uh, the trunk now I've seen a couple videos stating that once you have the keys, like if you forget it in the trunk or you forget your keys somewhere and the, the battery is disconnected, once it, well actually just in general, if the, uh, if this thing ends up closing with the battery disconnected, people are saying you can't open it back up. That's not 100% necessarily true. Um, as long as you have your key fob with you, not in the car, um, you can take your key out of it. There's a mini key that's in here. It's a little button. You just pull it out. Once you get that done, there's like a little... Uh, key compartment. You just put your key down there, you flip it. Now it may feel like you're gonna break your key, but it's fine. And then it just opens right up. So, oh, that's my, that goes in my wallet. But yeah, so basically that's how you can open up manually if, you're, if your battery is disconnected and um, you wanna get back in your trunk to reconnect the battery and whatnot. All right guys, number three is kind of a cool feature as well because 
In my case, my transmission is jerking just like a little bit on first to second gear and sometimes fifth to sixth gear. So um, I wanted to make sure if it was my transmission or I need to do like an oil change um, or the fluid change for the transmission. So I found out that I needed to do my fluids and everything. So let me just show you guys um, how I got to figure this out and how I diagnosed it. So the first thing you want to do is grab your key, put it into your ignition, turn on your ignition, but uh, like pretty much turn on the car, but don't. Put your foot on the brake, don't get the engine running. Now once you do that and see all the lights on the dash, you wanna make sure that everything's turned off, the air conditioning's turned off, everything here, um, nothing's on. Make sure the engine isn't on, and then all you gotta do is put your foot on the gas for a solid minute. Now, you're probably gonna wanna time yourself. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is put your foot down on the gas for around a solid minute, and what it's gonna do is reset the system of the transmission. Um, the memory of it, so when it, because when you buy a car used, uh, the the as the transmission is an adaptive transmission. It uh it adapts to the the driving style that the owner is. You know, if you're an, an economic driver, how do I say it? like, if you care a lot about your gas and you're not flowing it as much, you keep it under 2,000 or 2,000 RPMs. The transmission is going to adapt to that, so it'll shift smoother and whatnot. So when you buy it used, and the person prior to you drove it like you know a grandpa, and you're driving it like a race car the transmission is uh, not going to be shifting as smooth because the memory settings that it saved at is not the same as your, how you're driving right now. So what I had to do is reset the transmission. Now it's been about a minute now. I'm going to take my foot off the, the, uh, the gas pedal and um, basically turn on the car as if you know, you're turning it on regularly and go out for a drive. So when you leave it in drive, and uh, it's going to be jerking a little bit in every single gear, very, very slightly. And uh, after like two to three minutes, it's going to automatically adapt to your driving. Um, and it's going to, over like a month, fully adapt to your driving and uh, hopefully satisfy your needs and not have any jerkiness or anything like that. But in the beginning, there's going to be slight, a slight jerkiness, and that's normal. So how I found out that my transmission is not toast, um, because the first and second gear it did jerk a lot for some reason and when I reset the transmission It was still jerking, but it was jerking a lot more than it went down a little bit to jerkiness So the jerkiness, you know dropped the intensity of it So I found out that I just need to replace the pan the gasket for the pan and the fluid So you guys will be seeing a video on that um, and that will ensure that the transmission is 100% lubricated and uh, it will shift smooth 100% because it is working when you put it in sport mode it does shift smooth it just on drive it doesn't so obviously um, it's not being lubricated enough and uh, you know it does need the fluids to be flushed and put back in. So yeah guys it's not the end of the world if your transmission is jerking you can reset it and um, pretty much if that's not the case do the fluid change and reset it and your and transmission should be 100% fine. I guess my car being in the garage right now I'm doing a few things I'm working on it so uh, it's gonna be in the garage for a little bit but it sh you know it won't affect this video by any means. So right now we want to roll up all the windows so when you hold down the, the BMW logo you can see my side mirror folding in and all my windows going right back up. Now, this got programmed using the Carly app. Um, you can also unlock it by going to the secret menu inside of your car. If you guys don't know about the secret menu, let me know and uh, I'll make a video separate just for that. So, everyone I'm pretty sure knows about if you hold down the unlock button, your all your windows should go down and your moonroof should open. So that opens up all the way. I'm not gonna do it entirely, but you guys get the gist. And when you lock it, all the windows go back up and the moon roof closes. So as you guys can also see, when I unlock the doors, my side mirror is open. And when I lock the doors, it closes. This was programmed to Carly and rolling up all the windows was also programmed from the Carly app. I found this is a really, really important feature because when I'm parking my car, the last thing you want to have happen to your car is get scratched, especially if you're a car enthusiast, it's going to be like the end of the world for you. So I want to close in my side mirrors, I don't want to have any problems with that. I don't want people walking in between my cars during classes and scratching my doors and my, you know, my side mirrors. So that is kind of an important feature for me. Okay, so this next one I found out um, when my moonroof would not close entirely, like it would not shut 100%. So I thought there was something wrong with the, the what's it called, the moonroof motor, but apparently there was something wrong with the moonroof motor, but you can reset it uh, without needing any tools or anything. Let me show you guys how you do that exactly. When you're in the car, um, you just wanna put your foot in the ignition. I mean, yeah, your foot in the ignition. You wanna put your keys in the ignition, put your foot on the brake, and uh, turn on your car. 
once your car is on, you want to look right here, find where your moonroof switch is. You just want to hold that down completely. So I'm still holding it guys, nothing's happening, but just keep your hand on it and you can hear it resetting. So my foot's still in the, I mean, <laughs> why do I keep saying my foot? My finger is still in the middle and uh, the moonroof is shutting open, doing the operation it needs to to reset everything. And just like that, the, the, the moonroof reset. And if you look on top, it's 100% flush and that's how it's supposed to be. Also, sorry guys for my car being a little bit dirty. I noticed that on the, the, the top of the, you know, the roof is pretty dirty. I'm going to wash the car right now. I finally got it up and running. I'm hoping it's going to stay up and running. I'll let you guys know as time goes on. Now, this last one is really, really important. So, when you're, you know, replacing your oil, when you're doing your brakes, when you're doing your brake fluids or disconnecting the battery, anything like that, and you need to reset the settings so no more lights are on your dash, you can do that without an OP2 scanner. OP2 scanner is mainly just for, um, you know, more of serious issues with your car. This is more of internal issues that can be fixed uh, just going through your secret menu. It's not really a secret menu, but it's like a hidden menu in your car that you gotta use the BS function to get into. I love how I just said BS, it's BC, I'm sorry, BC function. I know just like the other video guys, um, how I said valet, it, I get it. It's not valet, it's valet. All right, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry for saying that. I hope I correct myself just now. It's valet. Not valet, valet. All right, let's get into the car and continue with the rest of the video. So what you want to do is put your key in the ignition again. When you have your key in the ignition, you want to turn it on. It's not completely, like all the other um, functions that we did earlier. And you want to wait for all the beeping sounds to go away. All right, so right now you're going to want to put your, your, your finger on the reset clock button. You want to keep it on until the triangle comes up and goes away. And now you're in the menu, so to how to use the menu, you got to go down to your BC button. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm trying to find it. It's right there. So you want to go up on the switch, and you see how the menus in the background is going up and down. So, for example, let me change, let's do the rear brakes. So I'm going to hold down the BC button until you see a reset. Once you see that reset, you want to hold down the BC button again. And you can see it was reset and uh, the mileage on it has been uh, reset and you're good to go. I just want to thank you guys so much for my last video, my Hidden Features video. You guys absolutely killed it. Um, that is the core of my channel. You guys really helped me, supported me all through this. I mean, I would not be at 5K if it wasn't for you guys. I'm really, really grateful for it. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Peace out and I'll see you guys in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know, you're all